Alright, working on a truck seat again today, and uh, I got all these panels, just the top panels, foamed up and uh, cut out, made patterns for the edges here, and uh, got both of them. And then I got the centerpiece and the, the two white tufted panels, so uh, let's put them on uh, the seat and see how they look. I'll probably sew these together, and then uh, go in and make some uh, piping. Welting, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to throw you up on a tripod and uh, we'll see what it looks like all laid out. Alright. You'll get you set back a little far so you uh, I'm going to try to get the whole seat in there, but uh, I don't know how well we did about doing that. So, uh, here's the centerpiece and then uh, this is the edge. going on here at Thusley. Hmm. Gotta come over there. Gotta come over there. Got our half inch overlay. I forgot what they call it, a seam, seam gap or something, I don't know. Put that one here. And there you go. So it's gonna look something like that. It's coming together. I'm just going to sew these together. There's not going to be any piping in the middle or over here. There is just going to be uh, some piping or welting around the, the edge right down there. So, uh, so we got all the panels made except for the the front. Got to make the, the front's going to come out to here, and then another section going here. Then we got a tailpiece to make, and uh, I'm not going to put any foam on there. You know, the foam here is just to to level out where the the tuft was. So uh, we're making progress. So uh, let's go inside and uh, we'll sew these together and uh, maybe uh, sew some, uh, make some piping. All right, see you inside. All right, I got the two pieces together there, the turquoise one and the panel. So let's give this a whirl. turn towards me so I can't see what you guys are seeing. And let me turn you a little bit this way. Hold on. Let me flip these over. Alright, making this out of ways on the triple. Alright, let's see what it looks like here. Alright. Yeah, I'm liking that. What you guys can you see? It's kind of dark in here, but it's, I got the normal daylight out right there. So, uh, all right, yeah, I'm liking that. All right, let me do a couple more panels. Let me uh, sew the middle panel, and we'll see what that looks like. All right, we got them uh, panels stapled together, so I ain't going anywhere.
around so you can see it. Put you back a little. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wrong way. Like I say the the lighting ain't that great because we're using natural light here from outside. Now let's fold it out and see what it looks like. I can only go so far back with you guys. see what you're saying. Alright, yeah, I like that. Alright, that should look good out there on the seat. Alright, let me, uh, I made this other one while you weren't looking. Let me, uh, connect this one up to the middle here. And then, uh, take it outside and see what it looks like. Got you guys uh, set back a little far there, so uh, might have to yell at you. All right, let's see how it looks. It works here. All right. Yep, yeah, buddy. I don't know about you guys, but I'm liking it. Marks are pretty much on. Alright. I'm liking it. How's it look to you guys? Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to tell me. Remember, I, uh, I'm not an poster. I just play one on YouTube. Alright. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Right, now what I'm going to do is i got to make a piece here. You know, it's going to be nice. I'm not going to have to use this foam and everything. It's just going to be... Uh, material and uh, I'm gonna have to bring it down far enough to, to hog hog ring it into the, the steel the steel frame so I'm only gonna come over to here I'm gonna have a seam here and this piece here I'm gonna have to you probably can't see me you can't probably can't see it got the only thing I'm doing I move these over here how's that how's that a little better all right like I was saying I'm gonna uh Put a piece of material here and bring it down far enough so I have enough to hog ring to the bottom. And then there's going to be a seam right here because around this turn here is going to be uh, a unique piece. And I'm going to have to I'm going to have to form it while everything is pretty much uh, tacked in place here. So, all right, let's go inside and uh, make some piping, welting. All right. Yeah, we made some piping and uh, it came out all right, but uh, I'm not I'm not really happy with it because I used the uh, I cut the material to one and a half inches, and then when I folded it, uh, it's not giving me enough enough material here to play with. I'd rather I'd rather have a little bit more. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to cut some strips here a little wider and uh, try it again. Even though this would this would work, you know. I mean, once you sew it in and everything. You know, all you're doing is seeing a little lip sticking out. But, uh, you know, I put this much work into it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and do my best. All right, let me cut some strips and then we'll uh, try and make some more of that stuff. All right, I'm 
cut some more strips here. This is what I had originally. This is an inch and a half. And I just cut uh, some some two inch pieces. So that gave me a little, little better uh, chance of success. Alright. I need eight foot of this stuff and I, it, only, it only comes in 54 inch strips. So here's a little trick I picked up on the, my travels. I cut the ends off here on a 45. And then uh, match them up like this. I don't know if you guys can you can you see that? Match them up like this, leaving a little titty hanging out. And I staple my stuff together instead of pin it. So this is a 90. So I go from this corner to this little corner here. You see that? And I'll run a stitch. I'll run a stitch right here. Alright. Let me turn these over to the machine here. Flippies around there so I can see. Get the center delay. Check that out. We got it. You come around and see you guys. Move your hair to the sunlight. Check out what that does. It gives you a nice, nice transition there on a little angle and stuff. So when you, you put your bead, you know, it, uh, it's stronger. It looks a little better. All right, let me start making some uh, piping. All right, it's the next day, and uh, I stopped. I was having trouble with the with the welting, you know, or the piping, and uh, I think it's because uh, the foot on my machine is a little too small for this vinyl. You know, there's there's a groove in there that the piping goes through, and I think it's a little too small. So I I ordered a new foot. And I also ordered some uh, different uh, piping, you know, this, this is uh, cotton and stuff. And uh, usually with uh, marine and, and auto and stuff like that, they use uh, plastic tubing. So I think I, I ordered uh, two different sizes of that. And uh, we're waiting for that and we'll try that out. But uh, for now, I think uh, we've got carpet here. And uh, maybe we'll uh, throw it in the truck there and... Uh, See, uh, see how much trouble it is to put that in. It's pretty nice out. It's about uh, 50 degrees, which for the middle of December isn't too bad. So let's move this operation outside and uh, see what we can do. All right. If you guys notice, I uh, put the door handles on, and uh, I kind of like them. 
I painted them the same color as the door. I took the shifter out, painted that. That's that's gonna be uh, turquoise, and got a nice brand new uh, white shifter ball for it too. It looks good, and that gives me a little more room to work. Uh, not that I need it. I can take the steering wheel out if I want, but uh, I don't think really I'll need it. Yeah, I'm gonna. This is this carpet. This is only like a forty dollar carpet for this whole thing. You know, I mean it's it's nice. You know, it's not cheap carpet. You know, it's it's good quality, but. Uh, I'm just I'm just putting it in. Gotta remember these trucks originally came with a, a rubber mat, you know. And uh, no matter what I do to this truck, it's still going to be a truck, an old farm truck. So I'm not going to put any uh, padding on the floor, you know. I'm I'm just going to spray it sporadically just to hold it in place, because the seat will hold it in place, and then you have a you know a piece of uh, chrome that holds the side down here, and uh, I'll be happy with it. You know, everybody keeps saying, you know, uh, insulate this, insulate that, put insulation in the doors. You know, it's it's a work truck. You know, it's a farm truck, and I'm happy with that. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. You know, and even the carpet. You can put, we're gonna put the carpet down. You got even got these grooves in the floor, but uh, there's gonna be a, a mat down. You know, what I mean, uh, a rubber mat to protect the carpet. So it's uh, pretty much just for looks, but. Uh, Here's my game plan. I'm going to uh, put it in and I'm going to bring it up a little bit to the gas tank because when you open the door you, you're going to see that. You're not going to see the gas tank. You might, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll put some carpet here and then I'll run a little carpet alongside the gas tank there so you, you don't see that. but. Uh, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, start in the middle and uh, spray it down. Make sure it's it's tied up around the the mount here and and where the seat comes out. And uh, just going to try to make it look clean. And we'll be happy with that. So and then I'll even have some left over in case I want to make some kick panels here. I don't I don't know whether, I don't know whether I'm going to put the fabric there or uh, carpet, but we'll do something. All right, let me get some uh, some spray garbage and put this in. All right, yeah, I'm liking it so far. So far, I only got up to the the back of the tunnel here, and uh, this is all glued down. I glued more than I, I uh, wanted to, but uh, hey, that happens. And even here, it looks good. And then on the edge here, I got this piece of. Uh, Aluminium that goes there, trim, and that'll hold that'll hold that down. Even though it'll be glued, it holds that down. Then you got the seat rail going across here. So this uh, this carpet ain't going anywhere. And like I say, it's I like it. You know, yeah. This piece of uh, aluminium here, I'm going to uh, clean up clean up the edges. You know, I mean it's pretty rough. You know, and and you can't buy these. I think there's one guy that makes an aftermarket set. And uh, it's a four and a quarter, you know, and it's it's all billets. It's, it's all it is a piece of uh, aluminum to that shape. They don't try to make it look like the Ford. And even used, I've seen these used, but uh, you know they're like 350 bucks. So I'm going to clean this one up, and I really only have to clean the edges up here. And then what I'm going to do, it's like an inset. I'm going to put uh, a piece of uh, turquoise vinyl in there. And that should make that pop. So, uh, look forward to that. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this whole carpet back and start in the middle and come this way and uh, spray it in place and then we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm loving it. Alright, I'm going to turn you guys on and then uh, I'm going to go around the other side there and we're going to do, we're going to do this whole whole section here at once. take my bolts out here. That's how I'll take them out while the thing's drying.
Alright, let's give that a couple minutes and then uh, we'll put it down. Alright, let's give it a try. Just thought it wouldn't have to work from this side or I'll be sticking there like a fly. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. Put this down and we'll kneel on this. Remember, it's all going to be on this seat. With nice carpet stretch is nice. best knees anymore. Side there, stick my ass in your face, so I might have to turn these off. You don't want to see that. Alright, yeah, I moved you over the other side there, so you don't get such a bad angle. Too much carpet here. It's getting in my way. Alright. I'm liking it. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna fit this, put this under there and uh, just cut it. I don't think I'm gonna glue it down because Mike still has to work on a dashboard and we can pull it back out of the way so if he's soldering or something, you don't have to worry about burning the carpet up, so. All right, I'm gonna finish uh, fitting this and then maybe we'll uh, give you a shot of it when we're done. All right, yeah, I'm liking the way it's looking. It's starting to get dark. So we're gonna have to pack it in now. I just got these, uh, aluminium thing sitting here for now just for looks yeah we got it uh, we got it all glued down to about uh, halfway on a tunnel that way when Mike comes in and wants to work we can pull that all back right now I got it sitting on top of the gas pedal and everything else but uh, at least uh, we got all the excess Wow 
We just barely had enough. It's, I'm not even going to have to cut this, this corner here. <laughs> That's what you call a, a lucky mistake. Alright, so uh, sorry about not finishing up the, the piping and stuff like that, but uh, you know, you can't keep going if uh, you run into problems. So. We're going to call it good for now, and uh, we'll find something else to film for you. All right, enough of this.